Okay, this is a uh, video to run through on a, another software called uh, RunRing, which is a operating system simulator on uh, how processes uh, function, how the CPU uh, handles processes and uh, parents, child, children, forks, etc. Here's how you run it. Uh, but just Google Run Ring, and you'll find it. It's free. From I believe a college made it, and uh, you unzip it, and here is. It's a batch file, so it runs. Uh, looks like off a of DOS uh, prompt. Here it goes. You have to uh, allow it. And there's the DOS stuff I was talking about. Okay, and here's the Run Ring software. Um, okay, this is the initial process. Uh, I've got it default to 10. Number of processes is set to 10. Um, if you want to show more information than just this display, uh, here's an output. You'll see what that shows in a minute. A Gantt chart, that's really cool. Set that over here. This is on Windows 7. Okay, and one more is the variables. All right, here we go. I'm going to move this over here. Move this down. Move this up. All right. Minimize that. That's about all you need right there. Okay, I'm going to just go ahead and run this until it's done. You want to watch this uh, Gantt chart. It's going to show the processes, uh, the process scheduling um, based on the settings that we have here. And there's a lot of settings. Do all kind of stuff. Okay, run until done. You'll watch this parent fork the processes, the child processes, a uh, copy of itself basically, each one of them. And here it goes. And here's the Gantt chart. I'm going to widen it a little because that's a lot of processes. Oops. We will run that again. So we'll rerun this uh, reset right here. We'll reset everything to where it was originally, except you have to clear some of these sometimes. Okay. Run until done one more time. Watch the Gantt. Parent, child, child. Red is uh, ready, but not running. Green is running. So as you'll see, oops. Okay, uh, all the parent the parent forked all these child processes <clears throat> one at a time. That's uh, not concurrent concurrently. That's consecutively. And okay, so here's the parent process. This uh, it forked this child process. It created it, but it was and it was ready, but it wasn't running until this parent process completed, as you can see right here. In each process has to complete before the next forked process can begin processing running all right and it starts at zero this is the first process nine is the tenth process since we're starting at zero right okay and it shows the um, hundred parent one I don't know if you can read that 101 with parent 1, 102 with parent 1, okay. And this is the uh, number of processes. 
is a child process. That's about all that shows, not much. Okay. And another thing they said to show was to change this atomic means um, the there's no interrupts that uh, this uh, program, these, these uh, fork processes were able to run at 100% with 100% of the uh, processor uh, it's a simulator so it can do that in real life they said this is supposed to be about 20% watch me count down on this and put it right at 20 all right and okay that's all you do I'm going to reset and it says not atomic right and then this is gonna be cool watch this and I might need to move this down make this bigger because it's gonna get weird run until done ready and watch the Gantt So this is that this is with a 20% interrupt rate, which is about what you get on a normal processor. And black means it's a zombie process. And that's it. Okay. Everything else worked pretty good. Um, the uh, output on this was also uh, skewed because of that not having atomic printing okay um, the other one they said to show was I'm gonna hit reset I'm gonna hit clear on this okay break child this is another one ready and you want to watch this this is going to be a little different the way this is set up. It's holding all these processes until it's finished. The threads. And it completes them at the end. That's pretty neat. That's about it. Um, again, you want to look at, you want to notice when the process is created, when it's ready to run, and then when it actually runs and then it gets put in a it's not a semaphore block but a ready state but not running not processing until it's green reds red is red means it's ready but not running and green means it's running it's all over the place okay let's try atomic again And this is for um, operating systems class at A&M. A little different, maybe. No, nope. it's the same as the first one. Break child. Let's see, it's running atomic and breaking it to child. Hmm. You can see that all the processes are ready, but none of them are running um, because the parent is having to create all of the processes at one. You know, um, it's creating all the processes at um, not at the same time, but consecutively, um, and it's not finishing its processing until they're all of the uh, fork processes are created. Once those are created, then it completes, and then each fork process 
um, runs consecutively. As you can see here. It's pretty cool. All right. Y'all have a good one.